The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To factor this problem, we can group the first two terms together, AB minus 3A, and the last two terms together, positive 3B minus b squared. For the first two terms, we can factor out an a, which leaves us with b minus 3 inside the parentheses. For the last two terms, we can factor out a positive b, which leaves us with 3 minus b inside the parentheses. The difference between this problem and the ones in the last section is that you don't have exactly the same thing inside your two sets of parentheses. So there is no greatest common factor that can be factored out of these two terms right away. The trick to this kind of problem, however, is that you can change this 3 minus b to a b minus 3 if you want by factoring out a negative 1. When we do that, we still have a times b minus 3 over here, but if we factor out a negative 1 from 3 minus b, the positive b in front of the parentheses becomes negative b, and we can switch the order of 3 minus b to b minus 3, so it matches up with our other binomial. Now we can factor out the greatest common factor, b minus 3, from these two terms, and we're left with a minus b inside your second set of parentheses.